you review images of World War II German tanks, you will come across images showing tanks with large numbers painted on them. While this can seem mysterious at first, it's really a pretty straightforward system of identifying vehicles that allowed tank commanders to visually confirm and keep in mind the placement of their vehicle crews as well as assisting vehicle crews to identify friendly units. To aid identification of vehicles in battle, German combat vehicles were given tactical numbers. Even before the war, a three-digit number system was implemented. The first digit identified the company, the second the platoon, and the third the individual tank. To explain the numbering system, first we must take a slight detour to explain the general organization of an average Panzer division. In general, a German Panzer division consisted of one Panzer regiment and two infantry or Panzergrenadier regiments. Focusing on the Panzer regiment, we then have two regimental tank battalions, and each of these regimental battalions consisted of four companies. The companies in the regiment would be numbered consecutively, meaning there were a total of eight numbered companies in an average Panzer regiment. Companies 1 to 4 would be in the 1st regimental battalion, and companies 5 to 8 would be in the 2nd regimental battalion. With all this in mind, let's see the numbering system and how it worked in general. I will start with this tank as an example. 231 is broken down like so. The first number means the Panzer Company, it is a part of the second company, so the first battalion of the Panzer Regiment in the Panzer Division. The second number shows the platoon it's part of, so it's part of the third Panzer platoon. The third number is the vehicle number in the platoon, so this would likely be the platoon leader's vehicle, as it's the first vehicle in the platoon. We will go with the second one for demonstrative purposes. This tank's numbering means it's in the third company, fourth platoon, and it is the second vehicle. Now, this is the general rule of thumb, regarding the numbering system, but as you will soon see, the system had drawbacks, especially when it came to making it easy for others to identify the commander's vehicle with relatively ease. This and the tendency for some Panzer divisions to do their own variation on things leads to a number of possible differences one might encounter. While the tactical number system varied somewhat from unit to unit, the style and color of the tactical numbers differed dramatically. During the early years of the war, the tactical numbers were often painted on small metal plates attached to the sides and rear. Later, the numbers painted directly on the turret or superstructure. The most common colors for this were black or red numbers with white outlines though any number of combinations apparently existed during the war. A 1944 order, more than anything, solidified the size, font and general structure. Darker solid color outlined in a lighter color of the vehicle identification numbers. This is why after the order was issued, we will notice more vehicles follow the white outline with red or black solid numbers and seem to be roughly the same size across all vehicles. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and support my channel on PayPal. Details in the description box.